Hi Sagittarius, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for November 2019. This month I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Ascendant, and Sagittarius Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, Sagittarius, now on to your November 2019 Psychic Tarot reading. First card you have is the Page of Pentacles, and this is an earth sign person, either being a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. It could even be you if you have a rising or moon sign that is an earth sign. Pages can bring in messages. Uh, this could be a messenger about bringing in news or message about money. This could also be somebody that is a child or emotionally or you know young at heart or immature i feel like some of you sagittarians are going to start to feel like something going on with you and the page of pentacles is like a little combative uh, or argumentative or a little bit of things stirred up in november they may not like totally believe what you're saying or they may feel like your opinions or what your viewpoints about certain things are skewed or uh they don't like you you're you're they may be at odds with your viewpoints and and opinions in november you're gonna feel like they're grating on your nerves or trying your patience you may look at them like they're really trying hard to delve into deep, delve in deep into subjects or, or issues or things that aren't really good for them. And they may be coming across as a little abrasive or childish or a combination of a few things that may be how they're coming across to you. I feel like they're actually having some financial issues or having some other kind of issues or problems that they're struggling with or trying to get resolved. Whether they're telling you about it or not is a different matter. They may be sharing it with you, but maybe not. They may even be holding back on how they feel. Uh, if you're not at odds with them verbally or going round and round with them, they may be keeping things to themselves about how they feel about you or your viewpoints or what's going on. I feel like they feel like something's really getting them down. In some ways, I feel like there's something that they feel like they're struggling with or that they can't cope with something well or don't want to cope with it anymore. It could be something happening in their life. Maybe they lost their job or... Uh, they have a spouse that's draining them dry and spending all their money, or maybe they have some kind of addiction, or they just are feeling like under too much duress, stress, and pressure in some way. And some of them may really want to seek your help or talk to you about it, but some of them may not do it or may not be wanting to uh, share that. But actually, I feel like you're actually in some ways kind of empathetic with them. And I do feel like from your own experiences or from your own heart, you kind of understand them and know how they feel. Even though you may be at odds with them or have different varying opinions and all that, I still feel on some level you can relate to something that's happening with them. You have the Hierophant next. This is God giving you a blessing or a warning or it's higher education or higher learning. Use caution and patience in dealing with this page of pentacles or in any situation that rises up and looks like it's tricky or uh, you have question about in November. Like you have to approach things carefully. Like I know Capricorns are noted for... Um, kind of being blunt sometimes and just saying, you know, 
I, not that I think anything's wrong with that. I, I tend to operate that way a little bit, even as an Aquarius. Um, and sometimes people don't like that. But th this, my guides are saying you have to proceed with caution here uh, with your opinions or uh, any criticisms or advice. As, uh, and I feel like the, the, it's, I do feel it has to do with this page of pentacles situation. And you're going to get yourself into a whole myriad of trouble if you uh, say too much. So you have to put, use a lot of filters of your words this month. Don't let the pipeline from your thoughts just be a no filter zone between your thoughts and your words, or it's got, you're going to regret it later. And, you know, Mercury is in retrograde this month from October 31st until the 20th. And then we're in the post shadow period until I believe it, we're out of that post shadow period on December 8th. So November can be a tricky, tricky month for, for communication. So keep that in mind. If you have anything to say or you need to, uh, you have to step in and say something, state your case, say your piece and be done with it. But do it in a way that's maybe not too overly blunt. You don't want to come across too much this month as an authoritative disciplinarian because that's not going to work in this situation. You, you Like in your communications and in your connections with people, strive for peace and balance or a balanced balance in your uh, words and uh, your emotions and your behaviors. Seek balance, strive for balance this month. I feel like in some ways, Sagittarius, you're going to work on something uh, this month that was like the best thing you ever did. If you decided to research mortgages on buying a new home uh, or research buying a home or research, I don't know, something to do with your business uh, or your job, that research, any research you do is brilliant and is going to really pay off for you. So keep that in mind this month of November. You have the Three of Pentacles next. This is uh, a card that symbolizes, you know, fine craftsmanship and attention to detail. It can also mean expanding your work. Maybe you're going to have, maybe they're going to give you more work to do at your job. Uh, maybe you have a business and you're going to expand it. Um, you know, expand your business, open another, uh, start another website, open another uh, brick and mortar store. You, know, you never know. But it could be business or work expansion. I feel like you're going to be really like, it's time to really put everything in organization. You're going to be focusing on organizing things and uh, putting structures on things. Now, this could be your finances. It could be your literal home, uh, things that like in your garage, basement, or packing up stuff, like getting rid of things or putting things in boxes that you don't want to get rid of, but you're going to pack it up and label it. Uh, or, you know, maybe your office is in disarray and it's time to like weed through papers and shred them or file them or get them, uh, you know, get things on a hard drive. I mean, that kind of thing comes up here. You're kind of entering a phase here with work or uh, business that and development, work or business development that's crucial. That's what my guide said. Because time is coming up soon where things are really going to get off the ground and running. Maybe, you know, it's a, some whirlwind. I, I feel like a whirlwind of something is coming your way. Maybe you're going to have a whirlwind of clients. Or you're going to have a whirlwind of family activities or personal life activities that that's why you need to like really put structures and organizations and building something in place now. Or maybe you're going to want to sell your home or something's going to come up 
that you have to make some uh, changeovers from doing one thing to doing something else. And it's like you have to take care of business now. Organize, structure, uh, strengthen businesses, strengthen business, make strong connections, network, make good ties and connections. Uh, like I said, organize and structure, all important for you because you've got some kind of little mini tornado or hurricane. That's even making it sound too big. But like some kind of whirlwind getting ready to come at you. And it's kind of like you're like a snake shedding its skin. It's time for you to shed some old skin of your life because you're developing new skin and there's going to be new life and new approach that's coming up. I feel that many of you Sagittarians are going to feel this shift and change between the middle of December and the first part of February. The next card you have here is Seven of Swords. Now, Seven of Swords, Libra had Seven of Swords also. By the way, did I say this already? Gemini had the Hierophant and you have it. Libra had Seven of Swords and you have it. This is somebody lying to you, deceiving you, or stealing from you. you you're going to have some kind of anger. I, I do feel that you're going to find out that things were like rearranged or maybe some things taken from you that you're going to find out like, hey, this is missing. Or why is this over here? I just put all these things over here and now why are they all over there? Like, I feel like agitation coming from you where you're going to feel like, why are people messing with my stuff or what I'm doing? And you're going to feel like you can't abide by anybody doing any kind of sneaky maneuvers or, uh, yeah, like behaving sneakily or deceptive maneuvers. You're going to have no patience for it. None. I, I feel like you're really going to get angry if that, if that happens in November. I'm not saying you're not right, but be careful you don't make mountains out of molehills. But you could be irritated about other things and could blow some things up out of proportion. But I'm just saying careful of that because the potential is there for you to do that. You know, you would be wise to get a safety deposit box or get some kind of safe that only you have the combination to and maybe one other person that's far, far away. Um, because I feel like there's some things you need to put in some kind of safekeeping or in a storage locker that nobody else has the key to but you or uh, a safe or a safety deposit box. I, I, it could be papers even. It doesn't necessarily have to be money or jewels or gold or, you know, it could be like important documents, important papers. I don't know. I feel like you need to uh, think about getting or even better, uh, home security also comes up. So if you don't have a home security system, you might want to invest in that this month. It's just a thought. Doesn't mean somebody's going to rob you, but... Um, I do feel the potential is there for somebody to take something of yours and it might be something small or, but I just feel like you, like you're not going to have any tolerance for sneakiness or deception. And I see things of yours being moved, um, or taken. So you have to be careful, but if you have a safety deposit box or a safe or a storage bin or somewhere you can keep things safe, or if you're considering home security of some sort, this is the month to get on it and do it. Especially if you have Libra rising or moon, because Libra had this card as well. The last card you have for the reading is hanged man, and this is being in limbo. You're not moving forward, you're not moving backward, you're in suspended animation, and you have to draw very strongly from your own psychic ability and your own intuition when you're in the state and position of being in limbo. I do feel like you are wondering what to do next because I see you're like, well, I've taken care of these things and there's some other things I need to take care of, but I can't really quite do that yet because of some other things that have to happen. So I do feel there is some like 
you're kind of, I see you wondering or thinking or concerned about what's the next step of something you have to do. And I feel like you're watching a lot of people drift out of your life. Uh, I'm not saying they're dying. Some of them maybe have passed away recently. Uh, there may be somebody that did. But I also see other people drifting out of your life. Like they could be moving. This one could be going off to college. That one could be moving. This one could be getting married and moving to another state. Like, I'm not saying you're breaking up with all these people or having horrible fights with them. I'm just seeing people like drifting off. Doesn't mean they're drifting off for good. They're just drifting off for a while. This is going to cause you to feel a little wobbly and uncertain, even though it's probably fine for you. Like, I don't feel like it's affecting you like that means something bad is going on with you. I just feel like it's somehow, you know, when things shift and change, even if it's connected to people close to us, it can make us feel uh, like, wow, like my, my life feels like altered and I feel a little shaky right now and uh, wobbly about stuff. That's the vibration and energy I get uh, empathically feel about you connected to this card. Some of you are going to have to revise something that you've put in writing. If you've already made a will, you may need to revise it. If you have some other documentation or something you've written, could be a blog, a book. Um, it, could even, it could be something that has like you had to do for work or something you had to do for a business or for a client. You may have to rewrite it or revise it in some way. That's coming up here too, which doesn't surprise me because as I said earlier, Mercury is in retrograde and that kind of thing is bound to come up. Some of you, I feel, are going to be revisiting some old issues this month. And for some of you, it could be old family issues that never really got settled or resolved. It could also be um, if you had any health concerns or old health issues that, you know, kind of faded away and drifted away in the past. Maybe some of the symptoms of something's kicking back up again, and you may have to revisit it and resolve it or solve it in November. Doesn't mean you're not going to be able to take care of it. Just means you may have to revisit it and resolve it because for some, there's several reasons here I'm picking up. You Sagittarians are going to feel in a limbo state and a bit wobbly or off balance. And the reasons I've told you already are the factors of why and what came up from my guides in this reading. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so much for watching and please like, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And Sagittarius, if you would like to get a continuation of this reading where I look into my crystal and give you additional predictions and messages from my spirit guides for the month of November 2019, you can access those videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the description box in the show more section, and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for November 2019 psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac. Also, if you would like to get the latest video series I've recorded for Vimeo, my Angels and Ancestors Psychic Oracle card readings for each sign of the zodiac, that link is also below this video. Those cards were, are very powerful cards, the Angels and Ancestors Oracle cards, and I got very spiritual and in some ways a bit psychological messages as well as some predictions, and I've gotten a lot of good uh, feedback and positive comments and compliments on those readings. You might be interested in checking them out if you have not done so yet. And the other link below this video is for the seven card horseshoe tarot spread psychic tarot reading for each sign of the zodiac, where in those seven cards, I it was focusing either one or more important themes or people in your life and the hidden messages, the, uh, the, you know, hidden situations. Also, what's the solution? Uh, a lot of my guides can give a lot of details in seven cards. So if you haven't checked them out, you might want to look at those videos as well. 
Also, these videos are always available by going to my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Click on the videos tab on my menu and there you can see all the video series I have listed. I have descriptions describing what cards I've used, what the prediction time frames came up in the reading so you know how long the predictions go out. Uh, and any other information that pertains to those readings, you just go to the heading of the cards that you, the readings you want, click on your sign, and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. So also, I can't forget to tell you, if you want to get more predictions and messages from my spirit guides channeled through me that you're not going to see here on YouTube, you can follow me on my social media pages, The Lucky Mermaid LLC, the Psychic Pastry Chef LLC, and my Instagram account, the Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell, where I post psychic uh, tarot readings. I pulled tarot cards. I pulled sacred geometry cards, um, animal messages from your spirit guides cards, angels, gods, and goddesses cards, the um, angels and ancestors oracle cards, uh, many, many different cards. Plus, I use my crystal and other things to give you psychic predictions and messages there. And many people, if you read the feedback, especially on Facebook, uh, people don't write as much on Instagram. They do write little bits, but people write more on Facebook. You can read where people say, this resonates with me. This is what's going on with me right now. So you may find that applies to you as well. So please be sure to check me out on those social media pages. So I hope you have an absolutely phenomenal and noteworthy November, Sagittarius. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.